Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Quest for Knowledge. Today we are going to discuss solved model question paper 1 and paper 2 all the theory. Okay, so now we are going to discuss all the important 2 marks and important 5 marks. By this in advanced corporate accounting you can easily obtain 15 marks. So these are important questions. Let's discuss one by one. So first of all what is mean by preference share? With the name itself you can understand certain preference are given to that kind of a share. That is why it is called as preference share. Because the preference share are those share which have two preferential right. One is a right to receive dividend at a given rate and uh, dividend is paid before uh, paying to the equity shareholder and subject to declaration by the company. Rate of dividend is mentioned on the face of the share certificate. Example 12% preference share. Second is the right to repayment of capital before equity shareholder at the time of liquidation. So preference share, according to section 85 of company act 1956, persons holding preference share called preference shareholder are assured of a preferential dividend. So the thing is that he will have the preferential right to get the dividend before the equity shareholder and to get the capital in the time of liquidation before the equity shareholders. Redeemable and irredeemable preference share. The share which we can redeem. Redeem means we can get it back after a fixed period of time and after giving prescribed notice as desired by the company or known as redeemable preference share. Irredeemable preference share are which cannot be redeemed during the lifetime of the business. Such kind of a share is called as redeemable and irredeemable. Redeemable means we can get it back and which we cannot get it back. What is mean by debenture? Debenture are the practical alternative to the term loan. This is an instrument of debt finance. Debenture holder are the creditor of the company. It has more flexibility and he is eligible for interest and it offers greater choice with respect to maturity. Okay, we'll understand what are the redemption of debenture. So redemption of debenture will be redeemed on or before a specified date which is stated clearly in terms of the issue of debenture again like how the preference share is after a given period of time we can get it back similarly for the debenture also after a period of time we can get it we can get it back so here are certain question which is what are the functions of liquidators liquidators are those who will liquidate the company so when you want to close the company you have to liquidate the company and the person who is being allotted to liquidate the company is the liquidator so what are his function he has to take the position of the company's asset he has to sell or otherwise dispose the company's asset either individually or as a business to calculate debts payable by the company to distribute the proceed from realized asset to distribute surplus fund if he has and to uh, close the registration to deregister the company. So these all are the functions of a liquidator. Reasons for internal reconstruction. So the need for reconstruction arise in the following cases. When a company has accumulated losses. When a company find itself overcapitalized value placed on asset is too much as compared to the earning capacity. When the profit as a whole are insufficient to pay proper dividend. So these all are the reason for the internal reconstruction means to create more systematically again. Okay. To recreate. Internal reconstruction or capital reduction. Inter internal reconstruction <coughs> means the reduction of capital <coughs> to cancel any paid up share capital which is lost or unrepresented by available asset. This is generally resorted to right of the past accumulated losses of the company. So that is internal reconstruction. Reduction of capital is unlawful except when sanctioned by the court. Okay. The issued share capital of a company represents the security on which the creditors relay. The uncalled capital act as a future security for the company's creditor. Therefore, any reduction of capital reduces the security of the creditors. So, reduction of capital is unlawful until the court does not confirm it. 
the here what is capital reduction accounts and its uses capital reduction accounts refers to the capital of the shareholder and sometimes even the claiming of debenture or shareholder and the creditor are reduced the account is prepared when it is desired to reconstruct them internally the main purpose of the creation of capital reduction account is to write off the unwritten of losses it is to write off the unwritten of losses expenses and the asset which are worthless and write down certain asset to their realistic value by this what happen the capital will get reduced when the capital will reduce it will reduce the security of the creditor as well because the company value goes down when you reduce the capital so what are the redemptions of shares company are only allowed to redeem preference share only redeemable preference share is issued with an intention to buy back shares at par or premium in a specific time entitled to receive dividend until the date of redemption accounting treatment for redeemable preference share is in the section 61 companies act 1961 and frs 132 financial instrument disclosure and presentation after this we have the question which means what is mean by amalgamation when two or more existing companies go into liquidation and a new company is formed to take over the business it is known as amalgamation a institute of chartered accountant of india has uh, uh, said that this standard specifies the procedure of accounting for amalgamation and the treatment of any resultant goodwill or reserve Amalgamation is a form of combination. It is brought about by the fusion of blending two or more undertaking carrying on the same type of business or engaged in the same line of business activity. So it's the combination, combining. Okay, there are two types of amalgamation: merger. Merger is a kind of amalgamation where two company will liquidate and turn into a one. Okay. and or in the nature of purchase, purchase like one company like purchasing to the other so amalgamation can have these two types define debenture debenture is a creditorship security it is a document that create or acknowledge a debt debt means uh, we have to pay interest okay they are our creditor companies act defines debenture as a debenture stock bonds or any other securities of a company whether constituting a charge or not this one is for five marks you are going to get the question so debenture is the type of loan or debt instrument which is issued in the market to subscribe to the public it is not taken from any individual institution it is issued like equity or preference share in the market for purchase and sale on the number of subscriber there are certain types of debenture one in on the basis of security we have secured debenture and second is the unsecured debenture security will have to uh, submit certain security unsecured is where we should not have to submit any kind of a collateral redemption means where we can return the, uh, after a period that debenture we can get it back a redeemable that we cannot be able to get it back in the life of the business convertibility certain debenture we can easily convert it into equity or preference share and certain uh, debenture which we cannot be able to convert it into equity such basis on the convertibility are convertible debenture and unconvertible debenture on the basis of registration we have fully convertible partly convertible and non convertible debenture okay now let's discuss what are the types of preference share convertible and non convertible so the preference share which can be converted into debenture or equity they are convertible which we cannot be able to convert into debenture and equity they are non convertible redeemable which we can get it back which we can redeem such are redeemable which we cannot redeem after a specific period of time such preference share are irredeemable participating means such kind of a shares which will participate in equity and certain kind of shares which will not be able to participate in equity so they are participating and non participating share after this we have cumulative and non cumulative cumulative means by chance if they are not able to pay the dividend so that dividend will be added to the next month 
or for the next year dividend so such adding or is called as cumulative dividend shares and certain in non cumulative share is the share once if the dividend is lapsed it is lapsed and it is not going to be paid uh, in next year or in next month so such kind of share is called as non cumulative share share with callable action so company has a right to redeem preference share in between such kind of a share or called as a share with callable option will be redeemed at a premium if redeemed in between the company will exercise such option of rate of preference dividend is falling in the market the question is what is purchase consideration purchase consideration refer to the amount paid by the purchasing company to the vendor company the purchase purchase consideration is a form of amalgamation where the shares and other security issued and paid made in cash or other asset by the transferee company to the shareholder of transferor company it should not include the amount of liabilities taken over by transferee company which will be paid directly by this company payment made to debenture holder should not be considered should not be considered as a part of purchase consideration so here the next question of redeemable preference share redeemable preference share or those preference share the amount of which can be returned by the company to the shareholder of such share after the specified period of time so such repayment of amount is termed as redemption redemption of preference share okay and the provision which is uh, being given is section 80 such share cannot be redeemed unless they are fully paid up such shares can be redeemed either out of profit okay what is liquidation liquidation occurs when a company is insolvent and unable to pay its overdue the operation of the company are closed and division of the asset between shareholder and creditor take place as per the priority of their claims so claims so such is called as liquidation there are creditors voluntary liquidation which is mean the creditors will get fed up of their pay they will not get the pay and then they will voluntary call it to liquidate and members also can do that and last is the compulsory liquidation when the bank when the company becomes bankrupt they automatically close everything this is the last three questions so for state the condition laid down under section 80 of the companies act for redemption of preference share so preference share cannot be redeemed unless they are fully paid they can be redeemed either out of fresh issue of share or out of profit available if preference share are redeemed out of divisible profit a sum equal to a nominal value of share being redeemed must be transferred from such profit to capital redemption reserve crr can be utilized only for the issue of fully paid bonus share to the equity shareholder preference share can be redeemed either at par at a premium so what are the legal formalities of redemption we need to follow the share must be fully paid partly paid share cannot be redeemed it should be fully paid redemption shall be made either it should be fully paid when the share are redeem out of profit then the amount equal to face value of the share are redeem must be transferred to reserve account in the name of capital redemption reserve account the capital redemption reserve account should be utilized only for the issue of fully paid bonus share to the shareholder